Let's do this a little more. Let's use these tables. Uh, let's look at y equals x cubed minus 4x. So for the exponent here, uh, we'll have to use this. x cubed, and I wanted to look at minus 4x. Okay, so x cubed minus 4x looks like this. Notice you can see by the graph that it goes, has x intercepts. The x axis is the horizontal axis, the y axis is the vertical one. And uh, notice it crosses the x axis at negative 2, 0, and 2. So those are the x-intercepts, and it crosses, you can just see it from the graph that it crosses the y at 0. So y equals x cubed minus 4x. So, whoops, f of x equals x cubed minus 4x. There's the same situation, 2, 0, and negative 2. You can see that they give f of x, which is like your y, uh, the value of 0. y is 0 here. You can see the coordinates, 2, 0, 0, 0, negative 2, 0. Okay, so this is from the graph. The You can see the equation, the table. Now, if you took y equals x cubed minus 4x and you wanted to use the equation to figure out what the x-intercepts are, you'd let y be 0 because when you're on the x-axis, the y-coordinate for anything on the x-axis is zero. You see the right-hand coordinate is always zero when you're on the x-axis for all those. So I took y and made it zero and just put it on the other side here. So if x cubed minus 4x is zero, you see there's an x in common to the two terms the distributive property lets you factor that out. And then x squared minus 4 factors as x plus 2, x minus 2. So if these three things multiply to give you 0, either x is 0, x is 2, 2 minus 2 would be 0, or x is negative 2. That would also make this equal to 0. And that would give you the same, the 0, the 2, and the negative 2 here. Uh, okay, that's that one. Let's try y equals 2x to the third minus x. So that would be 2x to the third minus x. And you might ask the question, what kind of symmetry do we see here? If it's symmetric with respect to the y-axis, then you can replace by x by negative x and get the same thing back again. If it's symmetric with respect to the x-axis, you can replace y with negative y and get the same thing. And if it's symmetric with respect to the origin, in other words, you draw a line from a point to the origin and go the same distance the other way, if that point is on the graph, then it's symmetric with respect to the origin. Basically, if you put negative x and negative y in, you get back what you started with. So actually, 
to look at this, I'm going to need to try and use another method. So let me use this. And if you can see, let's see if this will work. So, mm, see if I have a marker that works. All right, so if you have, what is that? Y equals 2x cubed minus x. So y equals 2x cubed minus x. And we want to look for um, symmetry with respect to the y-axis. So for the y-axis, that is xy and negative x, y, will give you the same thing. With respect to the graph, the point is if you put x in or negative x in and get the same thing, then the graph would reflect in the y-axis. So you would check that. Uh, you put negative x in here. And what is negative x? So you can see all this, right? Yes. Negative x to the third is negative. These two negatives will make a plus. And you see that minus, these, these are not the same thing. So it is not symmet so it is not symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Now, if you put negative y in, well, we're not going to do for the um, x-axis. Let's try the origin. So replace y by negative y. And let's just see if you get the same thing. You put negative x in. You see the negative this would be negative 2x to the third. Try writing sideways. Sorry, it's a little bit messy. So, and actually I have to get this higher up. So let's do this. Let me clean this off. So you can see it better. So the negative comes out here, negative 2x to the third. Take uh, the negative out. The negative and the negative to this would be that. And you see this? That is going to be minus y because y equals that. Yeah, you could see that. So um, this is origin symmetry. For the origin, um, let's see. So for the origin, so I'll just write them out. So y-axis symmetry x-axis and origin. If you replace um, replace x by negative x and you get the same thing, then it has y-axis symmetry. If you replace y by negative y, if you get the same thing, then you have symmetry with respect to the origin. And if you replace 
x by negative x and y by negative y and get back the same thing, then it's going to be symmetric with respect to the origin. Our last example was symmetric with respect to the origin. You can see that by looking at the photo here because every point as you go to the origin, it's like a mirror goes to a point on the other side. This point up here goes like a mirror to there. So if I draw this half of the graph, I know the other half is going to be its reflection in the origin. Um, let's look at x minus y squared equals 1. So let's try... We said x minus y squared is it not x minus y squared equals one. So 1 equals x minus y squared. Will it graph that for us? Okay, notice here um, for x minus y squared that the mirror is the x-axis. If I look at the top, you go through here, the same distance down, it's, it's mirror image in the x-axis. So if we put, um, replace x by minus x here, it'll be negative x minus y squared. So it is not symmetric with respect to the y. If I put a negative x and a negative y in there, the negative y will become positive because of the square. So it's not symmetric with respect to the origin. But now, uh, look, look at this, and let me get my camera back up here to show you. So we just make do with what we got a little camera, a little dry erase board, and uh, we make it work. So you have one equals x minus y squared. Now, if I replace y by negative y, this is going to be negative y to the second is just y to the second. If, if you don't see that, um, you could think of it like this. Negative y squared means negative y times negative y. And a negative times a negative, is, they make a plus. That, this would just be y squared. So that's how I go from negative y squared to y squared. So, and that is equal to 1, our original equation. We get back the same, same thing. You could just write it over here. So, since y replaced by negative y gives you back your original equation, 
it is symmetric with respect to the x-axis. You see here, if I put y or negative y in, they belong to the same value of x, the 4 there. So to review, uh, we found, we just found the, um, we said y equal to 0 to find the x-intercept because when y is 0, like in this case, the x-intercept is um, 1. Each two of these boxes counts as 1 here. You see the number 2 is 4 boxes up. So what we did was we let y be 0 originally, and we factored, and that let us figure out the three x-intercepts. Then we just talked, looked a little bit at symmetry, and... Symmetry is either reflecting in the y-axis, the x-axis, or the origin. To find the y-axis, we saw if you replace x by negative x, you'll get the same thing, which means it'll reflect in the y. For the x-axis, you replace y by negative y, and you get um, the same value of x. The same thing. And then for the origin, you replace both x and y by a negative. And if a negative negative puts you on the same point on the other side, then it's symmetric with respect to the origin. So that's a little more about graphs. I hope that helps you out. Uh, we'll probably, if I do more of this, that will show up again and we'll use that to help us draw some graphs. Thank you.